The Smuggler's Lullaby is a song which originates in the story of a smuggler's wife hearing the customs men around and thinking, how can I warn my husband that the customs men are coming? And what she does is she sings a lullaby in Manx to her children. Of course, the English customs men won't understand it. And she's actually warning her husband through the song that the customs men are around. That's the tune and underneath you've got this. So it's basically a kind of G chord with a tune played on top. So you, you might want to just play, while you're holding that third finger down, just play a tune on top like this. Just so that you can get used to the stretch. So running through the first bar, it's... And then it's moving on to, well, it looks a bit like a C, but it's not. It's actually uh, an A minor first inversion, if you want to get technical. It's uh, A minor stacked up in, not this way, where you start off with an A. It starts off with a C, which is the second note in the triad of the chord. So you hold down what well, looks like a C, but it's actually got an A held down on string 3 fret 2. And it looks like that. So you might want to just take your fingers off, put it back on, so that you get used to that movement. Uh, I'll just go from the first bar leading into that. Here it comes. And then it's just back to a G. Similar sort of thing going on in the third bar. And in the next bar you put your little finger on string one. And then move it across to string two. Moving across to, uh, down rather, to bar five. Similar thing again. Again, moving up that scale, when you get to the uh, end of that little sequence there, this is bar five, six, seven, bar seven, you've got two open strings leading into another sort of stacked up differently type chord, it's a D7 really, but it's got C in the bass. So you're going to play third and second fingers down on those two notes, and then an open string in between. Leave it ringing on, and then play the A, leading on to a G. Leading from the bar before, slowly it's... Here they come. Uh, moving on to bar 9. This is a little bit of an E minor chord, but not as you know it. It's got a little finger on string 1 fret 3, and it's got an E on string 4 fret 2. And you're just playing... Again. And you're leading over to a G of string 6. And the next bar is bar 10, bit of an A minor, bit of a G. And then this is familiar territory now, going up the scale. And then play two open strings into that uh, D7 over a C. And ending with a bit of a G. Okay, I'll do a slow run through to stitch it all together. 